Bob Sosi is with us, everybody. <laughs> Back from the Motor City. What time did you guys land this morning? Oh, you know, sometime uh, in the fall hours. I got home at 4 a.m., I, I believe. Oh, my wow. gosh, Bob. Oh, my gosh. That must have been a quiet plane ride back, I'm guessing, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as quiet as the Patriots' first three offensive drives. As you're watching it, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is, like... Yeah, well, uh, well yeah, you know, the, there's so many different things, I think, to talk about. Right. And, and, again, you, know, you have to guard against overreaction. We've seen the Patriots have these September struggles in the past, but right now they're an offense that they don't have enough threats uh, in, in the receiving core, yep. and and it, it's 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 not giving you know Brady an opportunity, uh, even when he has time to find open receivers because guys just can't get separation, and teams can concentrate their energies and, and uh, allocate extra defenders, you know, stopping a guy like Rob Gronkowski, mm -hmm. and you know, and, and, and it's hard at this stage of the year to go out and find a guy who's who's you know, got the talent and, and can come in and learn the offense. And, you know, they, they took a flyer on Josh Gordon. We'll see how he responds. Kind of, uh, you know, a, a last chance stop for him. And, and hopefully, you know, he, he recaptures, you know, what he gave the Cleveland Browns in 2013. But, you know, that's only one piece. Mm -hmm. The offensive line got caved in a few times on, on you know, short yardage running plays. I think last night, you know, they really made an, a, an effort to get Sonny Michelle going, a young man who's a rookie who missed all of preseason. And, uh, you know, last year, uh, yeah, last night, uh, certainly for him, you know, it was a struggle at times. And it wasn't all on him. It was the offensive line as well. And then defensively, guys, you know, missing three starters didn't help. But uh, there's a lot of issues they've got to overcome. And it really begins with depth on both sides of the ball. Yeah. And, and can they do it? Yeah. yeah they, I think they can, I think, just because of the state of the AFC, number one, but also the fact that you still have the best quarterback and I believe the best coach. Uh, that, that we've ever seen in the game. There you go. No panic in Bob Sosie's voice. Thank you for calming a, 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 a skittish New England this morning, Bob. Uh, you're home for three weeks, which I'm sure you're happy about. Um, is the Miami game a must-win for the Pats, Bob? It's hard to say that any game is a must-win in September, but you know, if, if you said the outcome of the Miami-New England game in the final week of September was going to potentially give one of the two teams – a three-game lead in the division, essentially, who would you think it would have that upper hand? Yeah. Uh, and it is important again. Now, the Dolphins are 3-0. and They've been able to win, uh, though not convincingly, uh, to date. But nonetheless, you know, they've matched up well the past in the past, especially in South Florida. It's a division foe. They're very familiar with one another. And the Patriots, like I said, have got some things to work through. And they're not quick fixes in, in some cases. So, yeah, it's a very, very important game. I think all things considered, this team – as Tom Brady has said, has needed a sense of urgency the last couple of weeks. And, frankly, I don't think we've seen it across the board. Yep. And, you know, they're going to need it next Sunday. That's for sure. Uh, get some rest, Bob Sosi. Thank you for the time. And we will uh, <laughs> we, we'll, we'll be, we'll be ready for Sunday. We know you will be, Ben. Thanks so much for the time. Hey, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. See ya.